Hello from Alaska. Yep, that's where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In preparation for this trip, we heard all these crazy stories about the bad roads, the rocks, the gravel, mm -hmm. all that jazz. So we were really concerned about our tow car. Tow car. And the damage that was going to happen to the tow car on all of these crazy gnarly roads that everybody warned us about. And now that we've been here for a few months, well, in Alaska for a couple months, in Canada for a month, we have experienced those roads. Dirt roads, rocky roads. Rocky roads, all that jazz. Road construction. And we've had some experience with our tow car setup, which is what this video is about. Yeah. So he will show you all about it. <laughs> tow car setup. Show Alaska. you all about it. Tell you all about it. Alaska tow car setup. Both. <laughs> all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and connect our car and if you don't know what connecting a tow car is like well I shot a video on how to and of course how not to because you know me I like to make mistakes you can watch all that right here it's entertaining to say the least but I'm gonna go ahead and connect this real quick so we can focus just on the Alaska enhancements no not enhancements um, additions additions there you go that's the word All right, we're all set. We're not really concerned about our smart car because it's been towed for five years and it's gotten some damage. So when we got the Alaska pack, the, this whole setup for our tow car, it was more about protecting the windshield and the headlights because getting a headlight or a windshield replaced on our Alaska adventure, if we're in the middle of nowhere, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. We did not wanna go through that. Plus these headlights are expensive and well, so is the windshield at that. So that's really kind of when the concept hit me. I'd seen this one piece online before and, and on other RVs. So I called Roadmaster and I said, hey, send me this piece. I want that to protect my car. And they said, well, if you're going to Alaska, we actually have an Alaska pack, which includes this piece and this piece. They said, don't go to Alaska without them. Uh, I didn't really believe them at first, but then I said, hey, what the heck? It's just a little bit extra money. Why not? And better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Exactly. You got it. Yeah. Because you know our track record. <laughs> yeah. Our track record is not very good when it comes to jerry-rigging stuff or, you know, cutting corners. That's how I ended up with all this stuff. I'll start with the shield piece that, that we originally wanted. It's called the Guardian. And it makes our smart car look kind of like a tractor, which is kind of cool. It's like, boom! It's like twice the size of our smart car. It's not heavy, it's easy to install, uh -huh. comes with these extra little clips here for security. and little knobbies to tighten it down. Now, basically what it does is keeps rocks from hitting this area. But what Roadmaster told me was, is if a rock comes flying up and it goes over, it doesn't protect your windshield. So it does protect my headlights, but not my windshield. Which is why they said we needed this other thing to travel to Alaska. But this is a great little piece, great little addition. It's easy to use. And unfortunately, it doesn't come with this piece over here. This is called the stowaway. And this allows me to, when we're parked at the campsite, I can just take this off and actually have a place to store this uh, shield. Without that, you can just set it down on the ground or whatever, but you know, it's much easier to have this little extra piece. The next thing is this little screen. It's, it's kind of like, almost like a front porch screen, but like really heavy duty. It's called the Tow Defender. Whoo, yeah. It sounds pretty hardcore, but it's pretty simple. It has these bushings built in that provide 
that little bit of play when you're turning, which I'll show you once I unclip this thing. It comes with these clips, which is nice for storing. Set those down right here. It unravels like so. And it has these clippy things to attach. Like I said, this is all so very simple. Hey, it's even simple to install. I installed all this myself and that says a lot, right? I mean, if you watched any of my installation videos, it didn't need a how not to video. Let's say, let's just leave it at that. These little things clip in. I find myself walking around the car a lot more with this gear because I can't step over anymore, which is kind of a bummer. And this clip goes in here. Boom, and we're done. So when you're towing the car and you're turning the RV, your tow car needs to have a little bit of flexibility. So when you turn, this just kind of sucks in to keep um, I guess to keep the tension off of this, but it's, it seems like it's well designed, it's, it's held up, and what it does, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it protects any rocks that come from down here, they're going to hit this, they're not going to go up any higher. So it's like a double duty protection of keeping the big rocks up. Now the one thing it doesn't protect is whatever's underneath. Uh, unfortunately our smart car is really low to the ground. So our fog lights, we lost a fog light on this Alaska trip because of a rock, which is not a big deal because if we wouldn't have had this stuff, we likely would have lost a headlight or a windshield. Uh, but if you have a normal size car, like a Jeep or a, you know, something else with higher clearance, you're probably gonna be fine. It's gonna protect most of your car, uh, especially the things that really matter, like the windshield and the headlights. One thing Roadmaster did not recommend to me was this in my, concern about the car I thought well I see other RVs with mud flaps and and other sort of little brush guards back here so I said you know I need this too and I decided to add these little things it's called the road wing but I don't know if it's necessary and I don't know that it does much for us because of our class A motorhome the the distance between the back wheel and the end of the coach is so great Plus there's mud flaps uh, all the way up there by that wheel that I don't think many rocks make it back here. So I feel like this was kind of a, a waste of money for our situation. We would have been just fine with just the Alaska pack. Oh well, live and learn. That's really it. Just those two simple things have helped keep our tow car safe here in Alaska. Yep. But of course, is any of this really truly 100% necessary? No, I mean, we've seen people with yoga mats plastered on the front of their car. Cardboard boxes. Bubble wrap, um, all kinds of stuff. But with our past experience, every time we tried to cut corners, it usually ends up in something broken and we just didn't want to deal with that. So this has been an awesome setup. And honestly, sure. you know, we've been traveling for five years. If we would have had this setup before, then we probably could have saved a lot of damage on our car over these years that, you know, yeah, it we, seems so simple and unnecessary. <laughs> and that's what I thought for so long, but now I'm like, well, dang. <laughs> we should have had this the whole time. I mean, cause the thing is, is there are dirt roads and road construction yeah. and everything else everywhere. It's not just in Alaska, especially. Wild camping. When we go yeah. wild camping, we're usually on a dirt road for eight, 10, 15, 20 miles. Yeah. So it's not that it isn't useful elsewhere. It most certainly would have been useful if we would have had it this whole time. So in the post, if you want to click over, we'll do a link. I'll put my personal thoughts, uh, the details, the brand, the exact products that we're using. So you can research it yourself and see if it's yep. a fit for you. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. See you on the road. We'll, we'll still be in last. Probably. Maybe. Maybe.
Hey, don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around and check out some more of our RVing videos with tips and tricks and stuff we've learned along the way. Or click over to our site. Oh, and make sure to subscribe.